Okay, so in my last tear up camper build, I actually considered putting solar panels on the roof and uh, while doing so, I actually bought a flexible solar panel to have as a extra panel just to boost the uh, power, output power, the charging power a bit. And uh, I got a really cheap one. So let me show you which one I got. I got a 100 watt one and uh, it's the cheapest one on eBay available in Europe. Europe and we sort them off by lowest price and yeah this is the one that I got I got this one for like 866 uh, kroner which is about it's about 104 USD and if we do that in euro it's about 86 euro and it comes with free shipping and um, this is the one that I got in mail, so we're just gonna go outside, unbox it, and uh, connect it to a Victron MPPT. So we're gonna see how many watts it's uh, providing, and uh, check it out. Okay, so this is the 100 watt flexible panel. It's a Mona crystalline panel, and this is how it came. And the time is just before 1 p.m., so we have the sun almost straight uh, above us right now. So that should be almost uh, ideal conditions for here in Stockholm. Well, that was pretty good uh, packaging. Like two layers of foam, both on top and on the bottom. And that is really thin. That is a thin panel. Okay, so that's connected up, minus to minus or negative to negative and then the positive to the positive and I have a small adapter cable that goes into the goes into the Victron MPPT So it's kicking on, it's going up 52 watts, 50 watts, it's going a bit up and down, 50, so it seems like it's gonna max out at about 52, 54 watts when we're placing it flat on the ground here but if I angle it up towards the sun we're getting about 64 watts so uh, it's not that bad but it's not that good either I were actually actually expecting a little bit more power from it so that's what I'm getting here in uh, Stockholm Sweden this is uh, beginning of June so the sun is uh, sitting fairly high on the sky there it is but the panel is producing about 64 watts at the most that's what i can get from it so i don't know what you think about that do you think that's good or do you think that's bad um leave a comment below and let me know what you think about this uh, panel does it suck is it worth the price because it was kind of cheap still it's really thin um and lightweight so it is going to be durable but i'm not so sure about the uh, quality and uh, longevity of it since um it only has two, uh, I don't know what these are called, like strands over here that's connecting. Some of them actually have more of them. Uh, so this looks kind of weak, but I mean, if you're careful with it, if I am careful with it, it might last, but it looks like a cheap panel and it kind of performs like a cheap panel. And if you want to see more about this um, uh, portable um, solar generator that I built here, uh, leave a comment below. Okay, so I wanted to show you a comparison to this 100 watt panel as well. 
This is a Enjoy Solar, it's a non-flexible. And this one is right now producing about 71 to 72 watts. And we're actually having um, really good sunny conditions uh, at the time of um, reading the output power. So this one is producing a little bit more power actually. It's doing 71 watts and it's in a less ideal angle uh, towards the sun. So it sh if it was angled more directly to the sun, it would produce even more power. So um, it's a good comparison to that flexible panel that is producing a, a lot less power. Oh, and if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, uh, just put them below as always. And see you in the next one.